What's up guys and welcome back to another Diamond League race preview. The summer track and field season is upon us and we have so many incredible races to review, but today we're going to take a look at the men's 5,000 meters coming up in Rome, Italy. Now this race has a pretty star-studded field, I'm not going to lie. We got 22 athletes from 11 different countries, five of which have broken 13 minutes. That's fast. And we also have a bunch of runners that are just over the 13 minute barrier, including Mohamed Ahmed, Ben True, and Andrew Butchart of Great Britain. All these athletes are tremendous and I got to say I'm really excited to see this race, but there are four athletes I want to highlight because I think these are going to be the athletes that are going to be the centerpiece of this race. First is Ethiopian Suleiman Barrega, who ran a 12.43 last year. Incredible time. That makes him the fourth fastest 5,000 meter runner in history. We've got Joshua Cheptegei, who is this year's world cross country champion. Really, really strong athlete. He's been doing really consistent this year so far. He's been under 13 minutes as well. We have Hagos Gebrewit, who has run a 12.45. He was in the race when Suleiman Barrega ran a 12.45. Incredibly strong, he's also in the field. And we also have Talahun Haile Bakele, who's been a really strong up-and-comer this year. He's 19 years old, which is incredible, so keep your eye on him. So this race is absolutely packed with talent. I certainly hope the pace is good, because there is a strong chance we could see a sub-12.55 K. And it's incredible how young these athletes are. Bregg is 19, Cheptegei is 22, Gabrowitz 25, which isn't as young as the other ones, but it's still super young. And also Bakele is 19. These athletes are so young and they're beating people that are 10 years older than them. I really can't wait to watch them race. So I'm going to run through each of them individually and really showcase what I think they can do in this race. So, Suleiman Berega from Ethiopia, 19 years old, 12.43 5K. The advantage that he has is that he's extremely strong, but he also has a great kick. When he ran the 12.43 last year, he outkicked Yomif Kajelcha, which is not easy to do, by running like a 58 second last lap, I want to say, and he really gapped the field over the last 200 meters. Extremely strong kick, uh, extremely strong endurance athlete. I think he's the one to watch in this race. He did lose to Yomif Kajelcha a few weeks ago in Shanghai, but expect him to come around. The season is still pretty early, but I think he's going to really, really showcase his form in this race. And I think he's also out to showcase that his 12.43 was not a fluke. He's going to run some fast times, and I think this could potentially be one of them. Now for Joshua Cheptegei, I mean, he's clearly a strength runner, world cross-country champion this year, beating Jeffrey Camoro. I honestly picture him being the kind of guy that if he could get his speed up a tiny bit and his kick up a tiny bit, he would be very, very difficult to beat. I mean, he's run under 13 minutes. He doesn't seem to have the ability to shift gears of a Suleiman Borrega, but he's clearly strong. He comes from Uganda, rep in Uganda. There's a lot of proud people from Uganda. I really expect him to do well, so I'm excited to see him race as well. Up next, let's take a look at Hagos Gebrewet. I mean, this kid's a beast. 25 years old, 12.45 5K. That makes him, I believe that makes him the fifth fastest 5K runner in history. He's kind of in that same boat for me as Joshua Cheptegei. A little bit faster because his PR is about 15 seconds faster. But again, he doesn't quite have that kick of the Selman Borrega. So if he can get a good kick going, he would be really hard to beat as well. So I, I honestly think he's going to go under 13 minutes unless the pace is really slow. He's always up in there, always mixing it up, so expect him to be running fast again. And lastly, Talehu Bakele, he's my wild card. I really do think that he's going to start running a lot faster soon. A few weeks ago in Shanghai, he was right behind Kajelcha and Borrega. He is clearly rising fast. He's got some incredible PRs, including a 738-3000, right at the cusp of breaking 13 minutes for the 5K. I think he's the one to watch when it comes to the newcomers. I think he's going to do really well this season. Expect him to be up there. Now, I realize there's a lot of other incredible athletes in this race. Some of the other athletes that are coming to this race include Philip Ingebrigtsen, Mohamed Ahmed, Nick Willis, Ben True. These are some really, really good runners. These are Olympians, and these are world-class athletes. Now, they haven't gone under 13 minutes. Ben True has been very close, and so has Mo Ahmed. But I'm not entirely sure what to think of them. I would love to know what you think. What do you think they're going to run? I know the Ingebrigtsens have kind of been dominating the circuit in Norway and other parts of Europe. I think Philip Ingebrigtsen's PR right now is 1330. I feel like he's probably going to smash that considering he's a 330-1500 meter runner. Let me know what you think. Do you think my predictions are accurate? I think Solomon Bregg is going to be the one to beat. I would love to know your thoughts. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for the Diamond League 5000 meters this Thursday in Rome. It's going to be an incredible race. Very much looking forward to it. Feel free to like and subscribe for more great running content and I will see you all in the next video.